Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about the restrict access feature on your Echo Show 5 and how you can use it to prevent anyone from going into your web browser, especially if you use it to save your credentials. So let's talk about restrict access on this Echo Show 5. So you want to swipe down from the top, hit settings, and then you want to swipe down till you see restrict access. Now once you get into restrict access, you see you can block your Amazon photos so they no longer show up on the home screen as a background. And then you can block movie trailers so you can block the search of movie trailers. And on web browser, you can block web searches and browse. On web video searches, that means you can block web videos from search by voice or limit the result with safe search. And on video providers, you can block or restrict enable video providers on this device. So those are the options you have to choose from. So some of these are for, you know, the sake of preventing your kids from getting into stuff that you don't want them to get into. And then some of them, you can just block other people from seeing your photos, for instance. But in the last video I did, I mentioned how I wouldn't put my password into the web browser as a save function because it asked me if I want to save my password. And I said I wouldn't turn on that option because other people can come in and open up your web browser and get to go into a restricted website that you don't want them to get into because your password is saved in there already. So if you still want to save your username and password into the web browser on this device, well, there's a way that you can block other people from coming in and go to those website and get into your personal stuff. To do that, you would have to turn on the web browser blocking. So what you want to do is turn this on. Then it's going to ask you to verify the account to make sure you are you. So once you click continue, it's going to ask you to enter your password. This password is the password that you use to get into your Amazon account, like when you go and shopping. And then once you enter your password, it's going to send a verification code to your phone. Once I enter the code, then it's going to come back to this screen and show me that web browsing block is now on. So if I try to open the Silk browser, open the Silk app. Web browsers are disabled on this device. To enable them, open device settings and select restrict access. Open the Firefox app. Web browsers are disabled on this device. To enable them, open device settings and select restrict access. So as you can see, now nobody will be able to open those browsers, which will prevent anybody from going into any sites that you have saved with your password in the first place. And that's how it works. But before you get out of here, you got to make sure you hit the back button to go back to the main screen because right here you can still turn it on and off if you want to, along with some other stuff. You know, you can turn them on and off. But once you come out of this screen, and if you should go back in, this time it's going to ask you to verify your account again. So even if somebody come behind you and try to disable it, they would have to verify your account to turn that off in the first place. And that happens once you get out of this screen and go back to the main screen, it becomes fully active. Okay, so I wanted to show you that feature that's available to you, the restrict access. If you really want to save your credential into a browser and you don't want anyone to go behind you and get into those websites by easily accessing your web browser. But remember that you have to turn it off every time you want to go in, which require you entering your password and then the code that Amazon sent you to put into the device and then you'll be able to go into the browser again. It might seem like a lot of steps just to turn it on and off but that option is available to you. But it's not just for anyone that comes into your home. You can use it to prevent your kids from going into stuff that you don't want them to get into that's on that list. All right, so I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.